بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله أنفسنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and a very good afternoon brothers and sisters it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our long-awaited program my name is Nada Radin, your host for today. And I'm from Information and Publication Secretariat, which is also our organizer for today's program. We would like to extend a special welcome to our guest of honor, Assistant Professor Dr. Muhammad Irwan Arifin, who will be speaking soon. Dr. Irwan is our Deputy Dean of Academic Affairs and Industrial Linkages. Not just that, he also graduated from IIUM in 2000 and was awarded as the best student in economics. As all of us are aware, this COVID-19 pandemic has affected all kinds of sectors, including our educational system. This crisis has led the Malaysian government to take certain steps, such as implementing online learning and examinations. IRUM has come up with Emergency Remote Teaching and Learning, which is also known as ERTL. This talk by the Irwan is most welcome, as we will get to know how this ERTL will be conducted. At the end of the session, there will be a question and answer session where our our students will be invited to pose questions to Dr. Irwan about the ERTL and how it can be achieved. Since you join in this session, you will be awarded star point and you will have to fill up a Google form for your attendance. So as this live session ends, please check our bio and fill up the end form. Sorry. Without further ado, I now call upon Dr. Irwan to his talk. I believe that Prof will highlight the results of the survey which had been conducted earlier. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much, uh, Nadia. Um, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, thank you um, to uh, MSES uh, for organizing uh, this program, which I think will be just that we, we just uh, finished our, our uh, Kulia academic meeting. Uh, it's uh, our first uh, Kulia meeting uh, for the year. So we also uh, basically uh, discuss more or less the same issue. Uh, uh, most of your lecturers also raise uh, a lot of uh, concerns. Um, so maybe uh, first thing that uh, I, I want to uh, highlight that um, we are in uh, this uh, together. I mean, uh, so it's not just uh, the students, not just you, but uh, lecturers uh, to many of us, this is also something that is new. Uh, uh, perhaps it's a kind of, of a once in a lifetime thing. Um, however, don't worry. I mean, the, we, if, if we were to help each other, inshallah, uh, we should be able uh, to go through this together. Um, first thing that I want to highlight is uh, the importance of uh, communication, constant communication with uh, your friends as well as uh, your lecturers. Uh, at the Kulia level, we have basically uh, informed, uh, advised all lecturers to establish a communication platform uh, with the, all students in, the, in their class. Because uh, under ERTL, uh, we will no longer meet face-to-face. -face. And uh, there will be uh, limited channels for information uh, to be disseminated. And uh, because of that, we uh, need to have a, 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 a communication platform where uh, information can be disseminated uh, quickly uh, so that everyone, students and lecturers, can make uh, informed decision. Okay? Uh, for instance, uh, with regard to uh, uh, online classes or assessments, all this information is important. So please, uh, I think um, uh, until now, uh, all of you, uh, students from our kuliah, should already be a, a member in our either a uh, telegram channel or whatsapp group established by, by your lecturers and please don't be a silent member there i mean do you are if you are free to discuss anything i mean talk uh, to your lecturers share your concerns um, 
uh, especially the positive vibes you know encourage each other uh, you know uh, to 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 raise our spirit uh, tell everyone that they are not alone uh, in fact you know uh, lecturers some of us are also worried because uh, this is this is non traditional this is not we we uh, this is not something that we we were trained uh, to to teach uh, online not not many of us So uh, words of encouragement and stuff, this will give positive vibes to everyone and confident uh, that we're going to be able to go through this. So um, please be active in the uh, class WhatsApp or Telegram uh, channel. Uh, participate in the discussion or just, you know, as simply as saying hi or, or salam uh, to, to your friends and, and your lecturers. Uh, I think this is important. Well, uh, so this will be the new norm. Uh, any information need to be exchanged through the uh, Uh, the this uh, communication platform this is what uh, the kulia has uh, established okay so if you if your lecturer did not invite you to be in either of the classroom communication platform you know please uh, tell your lecturer that you know you 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 need to have this okay uh, otherwise you can always uh, you know tell me and uh, we'll we'll uh, try to advise the lecturers accordingly okay so because communication is very important under ERTL Um, second thing that I want everyone, uh, you know, to, to know is that we have to be open to new ideas. Okay, since we are in this uh, together, uh, we, we 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 need to basically be open, uh, explore, uh, 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 of uh, be creative. Okay, we need to be creative um, because uh, we we can no longer basically use the traditional face-to-face -face teaching, uh, the traditional uh, centralized final exam. Um, so some in your in the class uh, communication platform how would you think the best way to evaluate given the circumstances you know you have to tell your lecturers of your of your uh, you know uh, environment uh, because perhaps uh, you some some of some of us uh, would be in a situation which is a bit difficult or more challenging than the others to follow online class okay but if you don't tell this information to your uh, lecturer then the, your lecturer wouldn't know what would be the best way uh, to, to, to assess your ability, your knowledge. Okay, so you have to talk, you have to uh, share uh, your, your concern and also share your ideas. Be open to new ideas. Sometimes your lecturer may throw in, I don't know, creative ideas, you know, try to, to, to accept or try to think of it and you also should be open, you know, be, uh, because uh, we, we are trying our best also to uh, advise all the lecturers to be open Open to be creative, uh, to 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 different ways. How okay without compromising the quality. Um, number three, uh, this is uh, with regard to the quality is something that that we cannot compromise at all with regard to education. Okay, uh, even though now we are in a very challenging environment, uh, we cannot compromise on the quality. I'm a bit worried when I see the report issued by IIUM Student Union, where among the things that wrong signal okay to the employers and to the outsiders as if uh, your of uh, you know your 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 aid who are safe so this is something that we want to avoid so we should not compromise on quality okay of course there will be a different ways how we can evaluate how we can assess or how we can deliver the teaching and learning but we can never compromise on the quality So this is something that everyone has to bear in mind. Okay. Um, the next thing, number four, um, we are trying our best to make sure that uh, no one is uh, left behind. So the university is working really hard. The Kulia is doing whatever that we, we, we can. Uh, we, we have been, uh, so thank you to MSES for assisting us with the service. Uh, I mean, the, uh, we, we receive a lot of assistance from even individuals Uh, they they end up calling your dad, your father and stuff because of the numbers, uh, the phone number that in the university database. So because uh, I think uh, all of the lecturers in, in our kuliah, they are now aware of the importance to make sure no one is left behind. So that's why uh, we need to reach out to everyone. Uh, so if you notice that your friends are not in the class uh, WhatsApp group or in the uh, class uh, Telegram channel, so please tell them to join, uh, to join the, 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 the class 
get the information? How would they learn? How would they uh, going to be uh, assessed? How would the lecturer uh, give uh, quizzes or, or lecture notes and stuff? So you have to be, you know, be part of the communication platform and 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 be active. Okay, be active because the education should be fair. Uh, we want to make sure everyone, regardless of the challenging situation, you know, human being, we have to be fair and just. We cannot simply left anyone behind uh, while we, while we don't take any any precaution or any effort to make sure they can they they, they should be able to join us. Okay, so uh, those are among the 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 effort that the kulia uh, have taken. In fact, uh, today, you know, uh, my officers are still busy uh, contacting uh, the students who who indicated who, who did not respond. I mean, this is something that I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, our kulia, <laughs> kulia of economics, the students, we are uh, the second lowest uh, in terms of responsive. Uh, last uh, in uh, April, uh, CPD issued uh, a general survey on readiness for online learning to all students uh, in the university. Unfortunately, we scored second, uh, second lowest. Uh, only 30% out of 1,700 students that we have, only 30% responded to the survey. And when your own colleague, and so we thought that maybe you know our students they are a bit shy to talk to the lecturers maybe they will be more open when they talk to their colleagues but when IUM student union conducted their own survey those 14,000 students you know throughout the university again only about 45 percent of uh, students from Kulia of economics responded so please um you know uh, information is crucial for us to to make a decision uh, because of the there's a lot of uncertainties but we cannot make a, a good decision if we don't have all the necessary information so if your lecturer asks you something in the whatsapp uh, group and whatsoever please respond uh, respond so that your view will be taken care of uh, you you should be able to see when people did not vote uh, then you see even in the in the political area you know what, what happened when people don't voice out you have to voice out you have to give you know so that we know when we have that information only then we can make uh, finally i think the, the the last thing that i would like to highlight is that uh, even though we tried our best to come up with the uh, policies to make sure no one is left behind to, to really uh, protect you to minimize the risk of infection uh, and and etc but in the end um, you have to be responsible for your own safety. You have to be responsible for your own knowledge seeking. Okay. I mean, we uh, lecturers, even parents and staff, you know, we have uh, a limited influence. We have limited uh, responsibility in the end. We also, we also believe, uh, uh, you know, uh, in our religion, Islamic worldview, uh, in the end, on the day of judgment, each of us will be called upon by our creator uh, to be uh, responsible for our own uh, doing. So now that um, all of you are grown up adults, so you have to be responsible, proactive, take good care of yourself, you know, protect yourself. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, be responsible, uh, be responsible, uh, make sure to, to uh, practice, you know, uh, hygiene and stuff, even, you know, regardless from wherever you're going to be learning, the knowledge if you cannot assess you know if you miss the class and whatsoever please take the necessary action inform the lecturers and whatsoever do not simply give up i mean and 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 try not to be left behind i mean we the kulia the university cannot can can only do much as much as we could uh, to make sure that you can uh, that that to to minimize the disruption in your learning uh, pr uh, process but in the end you know uh, like i said you will have to be responsible, uh, you know, for your for your own effort. I, I think I, I talked too much already, um, so maybe we can uh, now have a Q and A. Uh, Nadia, um, you have to assist me with this. This is something new to me. I mean, see, even many of us lecturers. I, I, let me just share this with you. Uh, you 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 will be surprised to see uh, how. Uh, that they on tour, but we thought that maybe they, they don't bother about learning all these new skills online because they are about to retire. But I myself am surprised and sometimes I'm shameful to see uh, some of our, our, my seniors here 
the, the professors, they are the one that they, they follow, they registered, they enrolled in as many uh, online class skills, techniques whatsoever organized either by the university or by external parties because I think they really have that kind of, um, you know, the, the cikgu spirit uh, because one, now they know that you cannot come to campus First, there'll be no more a uh, face-to-face -face classroom. That that will not spell the end of the uh, teaching profession. So these are the among the sacrifices that your your lecturers have done. So we hope uh, because they basically they they don't want to give up on you. Okay, they to make sure that your your, your learning your study will, will not be this. If there's question, you can just pop, pop in. Huh? Um, centralize it in time. For Final exam. Okay, ah, this is a favorite question. You guys really love exam, isn't it? You cannot have a life without centralized final exam. <laughs> okay, um, at our kulia level, uh, we have basically uh, come. Uh, it's a kulia policy that we discourage for kulia of economics. Uh, if the lecturer insists on having a uh, final examination. Final examination means the, the same final exam but now being delivered online rather than pen and pencil where, uh, and now it's becoming a keyboard and a screen. Even that we discourage. Okay, we, 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 don't, we don't want that unless uh, the lecturer have to come up with a very strong justification. Okay. So no centralized in time final examination unless the lecturer uh, you know, can, can really provide a strong justification. How would the final assessment work? This is where your creativity, you have to, you know, share your view with your lecturers. Your lecturers, uh, you know, many of them have been following uh, a lot of uh, online uh, training classes. So they, they ho I, I hope, you know, don't worry, we can be creative. So there will be different, many different ways other than exam, how to assess. Because in the end, we simply need to assess, we need to evaluate the outcome you are able to, uh, for instance, in business mathematics, you are able to solve optimization problem. Okay, so, so it doesn't really need to be, be assessed using a written pen and pencil exam, the traditional way. There should be uh, other ways how to do that. Does that mean all the assessment will be on assignment and projects? This one depends on the lecturers. Okay, um, we, 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 we leave it to the lecturers to, to basically decide. They have to propose uh, and uh, we have already planned that um, uh, you all know that the first week of class on the 1st of June, this will be the, uh, the, the pilot run. Okay, the pilot run. So make sure you participate in the class during the first week. Okay, uh, we have given the lecturer time to discuss uh, to, 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 to discuss with the students uh, what kind of assessments uh, that would be uh, suitable. So if you have a uh, concern or suggestion, please share it with your lecturer. Oh, the lecturer is going to give you the final grade. Is it on the basis of assignment? Will there be some other arrangements? Um, is there any amendment on the assessment? Hmm, maybe I did not make myself clear. Now there is no final exam. That's basically the general uh, the general policy uh, at our kuliah. So we have to amend. Okay, we have to we're gonna amend the assessment method without compromising the quality and make sure the learning outcomes are achieved. How about final year student who will be going for internship in SAM three? Uh, SAM three is still ambiguous. We are not sure. Uh, I think uh, most probably there will be. No uh, semester three, okay. Um, some of these questions are very fast. Do you think open book examination adding extra weight? Oh, I missed that question. Open book exam. This one is up to the lecturer. We leave it to the lecturer. Uh, our mechanism here is that uh, we we will not compromise on the quality. We have we have the mechanism to make sure. Um, the, the department will have to take into account that the question should be of uh, good quality and should be able to, should be fair and square to you. Uh, student that have limited internet access at home and can go back to Mahalla. Okay. Um, this one, students, uh, uh, the university have this plan of 
uh, bringing uh, all these students with problem, uh, you know, internet problem, computer problem, or very uh, challenging environment at home to come back uh, to campus. But if Uh, but this one still uh, subject pending to uh, approval from the higher authority, the government. Okay, but, but let's say you cannot come back to campus and you don't have um, the uh, good internet connection at home. Uh, so please discuss this with your lecturer. See if your lecturer can, uh, you know, come up with uh, a more simple way how to deliver the lectures and how to give the assessments. We have lecturers, uh, you know, who share their ideas with me such such as um, uh, and then uh, take a snapshot of that answer and submit back to the lecturer as uh, assessment okay so but these are not uh, we, we don't we don't make it a general rule but this this are exception because we don't want anyone left behind so please try to discuss that with your lecturer if that is doable otherwise if nothing else can be done then uh, I, i'm sorry to say there's 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 just study uh, <laughs> um, at the moment uh, we, 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 we encourage lecturers to be, uh, talk informally leisurely with the students. Uh, if the lecturer want to do some kind of a pilot uh, run uh, class also we have no objection because those uh, pilot run uh, classes are not counted uh, towards your um, they are not counted as part of the uh, the, the cost when you can collect your belonging in campus uh, this one uh, the, i think stat is handling this you you check with the stat uh, i mean uh, they, they 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 have arrangement how if a student to come up and uh, pick up their belongings on on campus No more questions. Okay, hotline. Yes, we gonna we that's in the planning hunting line. But I'm still learning how to basically have a WhatsApp a hotline for the office. Inshallah, we we plan to have that soon. Skills class. Uh, this one will be uh, basically under the uh, student affairs office. But based on the limited information that I have, uh, now they're gonna convert uh, all the skills classes into uh, like like this kind of talk where you you attend so you get uh, points for that um, if you want to know more about the skills co-curriculum maybe you can, can check with the you deputy speak with yeah speaking there right i mean who is that that's not nadia <laughs> dr irwan ah oh, yeah yeah sorry yeah nadia huh Oh, actually, I can scroll down. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Can you uh, hear me yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I can hear you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, may I repeat my question again? Yes. Okay. Uh, so basically, my mom, she's also a lecturer and uh, mm -hmm. from her own experience that she shared with me, uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, she told me that the, the online examination has caused the students to be stressful and mm -hmm. as a result, uh, the student performance are not doing really good compared to when they have um, a physical examination. So what is mm -hmm. your... Um, comment on this okay um because uh, to be frank uh, i i don't have any experience uh, i believe many of uh, my colleagues here also we don't have any experience with regard to this uh, online examination um and uh, thank you to uh, those who shared their experience that you know because of the stress the students are facing as well as um, uh, maybe there's a drop in the grades and stuff. This is why uh, we at the Kulia decided to really discourage or, or not to allow uh, lecturers to uh, to have uh, online final exam
examination as uh, assessment under ERTL. So uh, because we we predict this kind of issues gonna arise and uh, we we believe in you know education we have to, we have to be creative. There will be a lot of ways how uh, student knowledge, skills and ability can be uh, assessed can be evaluated, not necessarily. Uh, through uh, final exam so so inshallah i hope we don't uh, we, we 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 do have you know life we have to give exception unless there is a, a real need okay if the lecturers can prove that, that you know in this world there is no other way dah tak ada dah memang that's or exam is the only way to assess the student knowledge and uh, my office is satisfied with the explanation only then we allow Okay, for the uh, lecturer to conduct uh, online final examination. I mean, that's a bit, uh, we also consider if there is a basically requirement uh, from uh, professional bodies outside. Uh, we, we First, we ask, we ask our lecturers to negotiate, but let's say in the end, uh, they cannot negotiate because we don't want to uh, compromise on the uh, our students' uh, employability. Okay, uh, so we try as as much as you know we always have your interest you know uh, in mind uh, so we don't want you to stress out but if let's say for for some causes where we cannot avoid from having online final examination you know then uh, we will allow but i believe the number will be very minimal because uh, we have made it clear the kuliah have made it clear to all uh, lecturers here that uh, we really discourage uh, online final examination Okay, we requested them to be creative in uh, assessing uh, the students' knowledge. Uh, as long as the learning outcomes are achievable, then we are fine with it. No, no compromise on quality still. So many of you are giving a thumbs up because of what? No, no final exam or? <laughs> uh -huh. Um, here there is a lot of there are a lot of there will be online learning class for you or like the uh, lectures okay uh, this one two things first one the if the lecturer still want to conduct online final examination online final examination okay if they they are able to give uh, you know uh, justifications then uh, the online final examination will have to follow the timetable issued by Ahmad. Okay, yet we may consider giving extra time rather than giving you a uh, fixed three hours, then maybe we can allow you to give uh, maybe uh, three and a half, but and we give uh, the time we're going to open the exam for, for one day, one whole day. Maybe, maybe, but, 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 but so far we don't expect uh, to do that because we have informed all lecturers don't give uh, as much as possible avoid uh, online final exam well for other assessment they, it will simply follow the you know your other how long do, when do you usually your lecturer give you the project paper or assignment or for you to do a youtube video presentation so those would be the the time and if let's say you feel okay i i know sometimes we lecturers we tend to also uh, behave uh, we have that herd behavior where we tend to give all the assessment towards the end of the semester now this is where you have to play your role and voice out your concern to your lecturer okay if you think uh, the time uh, the deadline given is uh, too much for you to handle then discuss negotiate with your lecturer uh, nicely in, in a very polite way and, and and, and hopefully the lecturer will consider all these different factors before deciding on the specific deadline or period for you to do the final assessment. Sarah posted two questions but none of them were answered yet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take the questions from previous uh, to Ultra. 
I think we miss your cannot hear you. Um, what will happen to Ustraf Budi? Is it going to be online as well? Um, this one, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, I, I don't have any information uh, because uh, this is this will be under the university's uh, central level. Uh, okay. Mm. Um. Is there any possibilities that this final year students can learn face to face? Hmm. Your colleagues from other kulia may be able to do so, but um, at our kulia, uh, being a final year student uh, is not strong enough to be the only reason to allow you to uh, follow face to face. In fact, for your for your information, for kulia of economics and management sciences, there is none there, there is none face to face course. So even those who, who want to come back, if let's say you manage, you know, to be able to, to come back to campus, to stay in the mahalla, you will still have to follow your classes online from your mahalla room. You, you cannot come to class because there will be no one. I mean, even the lecturers, perhaps they'll be teaching from their home. Okay. So this is something that you have to bear in mind for our kulia, uh, for kulia of economics and management sciences. There is no face-to-face -face course uh, at all. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, how about for the final year students who will be going for internship in semester three? Will it be viable? Okay. Um, based on the latest uh, academic calendar issued, uh, there is no semester three. Okay. So uh, at the moment, the the university, the, the kulia will only consider uh, allowing graduating students to. Um, we drop subjects that we are not confident in taking with online class. Yeah, only for this semester, you are free. You know, if you feel not confident, you're not comfortable, you know, you can... There will be no penalty because this is something extraordinary, okay, outside our control. I see. Um, do you think open book examination or adding extra weight to the assignment is better suited for a final assessment? Which one shows the student's comprehension of the entire course? <laughs> this one, I think, depends on the, uh, the, the course as well well as the, the lecturer's, uh, you know, uh, uh, choice, okay? Uh, that's why it is important for you to uh, voice out your, your opinion, your view, okay? Whenever, uh, we, I mean, we, the, the, the Kulia, we have already tried our best uh, to, to advise the lecturers to always engage uh, the students uh, during this, uh, you know, uh, MCO period where we cannot see face to face. Uh, so I hope uh, there'll be a lot of communication, exchange of ideas, so uh, so that we can come up with. For some course, maybe open book is a good option, uh, but we cannot compromise on the quality. Okay, uh, so uh, inshallah the kulia, uh, we uh, uh, you know uh, we 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 uh, we have a mechanism to make sure uh, of all these uh, alternative assessments, uh, quality has to be maintained. Hmm. Uh, what about for some students who their lecturers didn't even create a WhatsApp group yet? So how are they going to communicate? Okay. Um, you have Aitaklim, right? So maybe in the Aitaklim, yeah, maybe you can propose uh, to your lecturer because we at the Kulia level, we have already tried our best to advise everyone, uh, all our our staff, our lecturers to have uh, uh, a communication platform, okay? Uh, so, worst come to worst, you have email or you have, um, you have italim, but th these are not, uh, I mean, uh, real time because sometimes, because given the, the, the current condition, the current environment that we are in, uh, some decisions have to be made uh, quickly. 
So information has to be disseminate, uh, disseminated on uh, uh, real time. So maybe you you may want to advise uh, your lecturer, you know, have a WhatsApp group so that uh, you can, beside discussing all the serious materials about the class, you can also, you know, that can be a new way of how you can be friends with your lecturer because you are not going to see them. You can simply ask what did they have for iftar or how are they going to celebrate raya. I mean, these are ways how education is going to be in the future because we can no longer, we don't know until until when we cannot see each other. Okay. Um, so I've seen this question be repeated. Uh, you please, do you mind hmm. to uh, explain ah. again? Question. This online learning, okay, yeah. okay. This is another thing we we receive a lot of uh, uh, concern from the students, uh, either from uh, the the lecturers themselves conveyed to us, or from the student or your ancestors, your, uh, your representative uh, inform us of this um, concern. Um, we have already advised uh, all the lecturers that uh, asynchronous. Uh, uh, online uh, teaching is uh, should be preferred than uh, synchronous or real time uh, teaching. Um, so because of that, uh, so your for under asynchronous, I think there will be no issue. Uh, I, I hope many lecturers will simply follow the asynchronous, uh, uh, you know, uh, teaching, where they will simply uh, record a video whatsoever, upload, and then you uh, on YouTube, and you are free to watch uh, in your own sweet time. However. Some um, lecturers, they, they still, um, they, they want to have uh, face to, not face to face, uh, kind of a, a synchronous or real time uh, teaching. Okay, so for these lecturers, uh, we have already advised them, uh, they should conduct uh, their live class uh, following the original uh, class uh, schedule. Okay, and they have to record the session for uh, the, the, the timetable. Uh, I mean, the platform, uh, the, the, the lecturer should be active or online during that time if lecture, if the st uh, students have, have any question. That would be the kind of the official communication time. Mm -hmm. um, here, this is a good question. You mean postpone semester two? Yeah, um, guess. it is very unlikely. Okay, uh, it is very, very unlikely for us to uh, postpone semester, uh, the current semester. Uh, but the, the possibility is still there because you know we cannot deny everything. But I think so far uh, the university uh, have everything under control. Uh, your study for semester two and and complete it. There's also a question asking for semester one. Is it mm -hmm. um, um, uh, um, is it still going to be online like this? Okay, um, for semester one, we are not sure. Okay, we have been, uh, um, there's a lot of uncertainties. But uh, regardless, whatever uh, it is, we, we are trying our best to, to prepare, uh, to make sure that we are prepared. If, let's say, uh, come in uh, September, uh, the government still, uh, you know, doesn't allow uh, the, the uh, higher learning institution from public universities to uh, reopen, then we're simply going to continue on this uh, ERTL mode, okay? But if they allow students to return, uh, then uh, we're going to resume, you know, semester as, as usual. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, earlier you mentioned um, there will be no semester three. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, I only see all the smiley faces. Dr. Irwan, uh -huh. um, a lot of students are asking about 
the tuition fees for um for this online for this ERTL. Is it still going okay. to be the same or in no position to basically uh, uh, give uh, an answer to that, okay? Uh, but um, this this has to be basically addressed by the university, uh, the, the finance division, they will have to address this. But I think uh, the the students, uh, you know, you, you need to voice out your view, okay? Uh, from from us, the, the, the lecturer's uh, perspective, uh, we, we are not, basically compromising uh, the, the quality. We are still trying uh, our best to make sure we uh, can deliver whatever we have promised to you in terms of uh, knowledge, uh, in terms of uh, skills and stuff. It's just that we are using different methods, okay? Um, so whether that one um, entitle you to ask for discount or whatsoever, this one, I, I think uh, the student need to uh, bring uh, this up. And of course, we lecturer would, would simply, you know, would love to, to support, you know, your view. This is the time for you to, to voice out your, your opinion. I think certain things we cannot deny since you are not using uh, some of the university facilities, clearly. I mean, that should already entitle you for discount, but I'm not, I'm in no position to, to, to give, uh, you know, to answer that. You have to bring this, you know, it's your money. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, there is a question from Sarah Tika. Mm -hmm. uh, so the graduating student for this semester will have their convocation next year. Am I right? Uh, convocation until now we are not. Uh, we, we are we are we are not certain uh, whether uh, it's not it's not confirmed yet. We are we are not sure. Um, also, a question from. Lukman.munawir, is there mm -hmm. any possibility that iTaklim will crash due to high traffic? And is there any alternative to Ogram? I mean, did Lukman just join UIA yesterday or? <laughs> I mean, um, uh, with, with regard to iTaklim, uh, I think I think everyone knows of the, um, uh, the limitation that the university is facing. Um, we, uh, the the lecturers, you know, we 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 of uh, online uh, facilities because um, this is something that should have been done a long time ago. Uh, but uh, perhaps if the student also, you know, voice out uh, the same thing, I think the the voice would be louder, uh, and the university would uh, basically be willing to invest. Because uh, when they invest for these online facilities, it's not just about your batch, but it's going to be for a long term. It's going to benefit your your juniors uh, in the in the future. Uh, it's just that um, sometimes when we raise this issue, we receive information that uh, sometimes the system crash and whatsoever because students are watching too too many movies and stuff uh, in the mahalla. Uh, so this is something like the 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 last point that I mentioned in the introduction. You have to be responsible. Whatever facilities that you use, use it responsibly. Okay, know that if you are about to watch a movie during the morning time, whatever, perhaps your your or night time, sometimes your colleagues may need it to to learn knowledge and stuff. So be considerate, be responsible. Okay, mm -hmm. so I talim of course can crash, not just I talim, but any other human made uh, system, software and stuff. If there, there is too high uh, traffic, it will crash. Okay, so that's why we, um, uh, we uh, at the kuliah level, uh, we, uh, we ask the lecturers to basically uh, check, uh, ask the students, do they have computer or not? Because before the lecturer decide to give assignment or quizzes or a test through iTaklim, I mean, uh, they have to make sure that the student in their class have access to computer and internet because uh, I, a smartphone may not be very, I mean, iTaklim is not very friendly to smartphone. Uh, so if, if this information is important, so you have to tell your lecturers, okay, uh, so that they know, oh, if, my, if there are students in my class that doesn't have computer, then I should avoid from using iTaklim as much as possible, okay? Mm -hmm. um, uh, what about the hostel fees if longer saying that? Is it going to be refunded or how? 
this one i think student have to fight for your right okay i i think it is it is strongly justified that since you are no longer staying on campus you are not using the facilities uh, i mean the university should consider uh, you know uh, giving back to you but i mean this is something that is your right and we cannot i mean um, you you have to voice out uh, this to the we think this is justifiable so again i'm in no position to to tell you about all this discount and stuff huh? understand um, this is uh, inchek kari yeah internship date for final year student okay uh, at our kuliah uh, for final year student we have uh, from two programs uh, finance and uh, business admin um so uh we we are we are still uh, trying to find the best way because uh, I, i think some of uh, our final year interns they have received a, a call uh, from their employer to to start working in uh, in july i think so in july then that will basically affect uh, your current semester under ERTL so we going to we we have to handle this on a case by case basis Uh, as much as possible we don't want to disturb your uh, study during uh, this uh, semester 2 so uh, those who have issues who, who have been called uh, to to start their internship during uh, semester 2 uh, then uh, please uh, highlight this inform this to your uh, practical training coordinator so that uh, we 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 can uh, try our best uh to to come up with the the decisions uh, you know to 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 make sure you can graduate and not to disturb your study but we we need that information if you don't tell us uh then we, we there's nothing that we can do so please inform your practical training coordinator what are the procedures to drop the subject yeah uh, you you, are, uh, you you can you drop it using the online system right the 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 students i mean now everything is being done online okay so you should be able to do it online it is not a risk if students are allowing to go back to the campus of course there is a risk okay uh, from us the university management uh, the lecturers we have already calculated the risk and uh, the policies that we issue so those are the basically the level of the risk that we are willing to tolerate but you know in doing so we don't know your exact uh, you know background and stuff but we want to give opportunity we want to give equal opportunity to all students who are willing to take the risk okay when you come here you know you have to bear in mind that we have tried our best for your safety we have come up with the restrictions policies Uh, there be no class you have to stay on campus you cannot go out to watch movie i mean everything your life would be still a kind of a partial lockdown these are all and uh, there will be a strict uh, i think uh, uh, security okay you have to only follow classes from your mahalla room your your food and stuff would, I, i mean are still being arranged but uh, we we are trying our best to minimize the risk but in the end you will have to be responsible of the choice that you make okay i mean these are the things that are within our control that we can do in order to to ensure your safety and not to disrupt your study but uh, in the end you will have to be responsible uh, for your own safety uh, practice all these uh, social distancing physical distancing uh, uh, you know uh, hygiene and stuff i mean we also you know as muslim we believe that, that if we have taken all the necessary measures you know and we have you know So, uh, make supplications to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala but in the end if you know uh, Allah's destiny prevail then uh, that's we have to be patient with it but 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 we 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 have to take all the necessary measures uh, as much as possible so the risk is still there okay but we try our best to minimize it how soon can it be arranged for us to return to UIA you miss campus so much huh <laughs> uh how soon can it be arranged um at the moment based on all the information because okay you have to bear in mind that the current situation is very dynamic information is very fluid 
Okay, um, so whenever uh, new things pop up, information that we have, the university is planning to allow students to return uh, on the 10th of uh, June. Maybe they'll give one day before that, uh, 9th of June or something, but they will have to issue a proper, but, but the list will be scrutinized, will be verified by the kulia. Okay, I think uh, some of you have, or maybe sometime uh, my office, just call your father huh? or your, 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 your family members because of the phone numbers. Just asking uh, because we need to verify the list of students whom, um, you know, whom we think should be uh, recommended uh, to return uh, to, to campus in order for, to give them the opportunity to uh, study under ERTL. So the soonest would be uh, at the moment, uh, the 10th of June. But this one, the list has to be verified and most importantly, it is subject to the uh, approval from the authority, the uh, Majlis Keselamatan Negara, MKN. We are trying our best to show that we have taken all the necessary steps, measures, uh, and uh, these students are really the, the really deserving students. The really, the, those students who really need to come back in order for them to study. And this is part of their human right that we cannot deny. Um, so, uh, and also if the, the MCO is already lifted, then the, the, the student should, we, we think, uh, but this is still subject to the government authority. This is beyond our control. So pray that, you know, whatever decisions come later. Officer tadi kan? Ha. So next time please make sure you answer lah survey. Ha. Kalau yang answer survey tu tak dapat call lah. <laughs> okay. Uh, for you to consult regarding your study plan, uh, this would be the academic advisor. Okay, the academic advisor. Now we, we change their nomenclature to undergraduate academic coordinator. Uh, so we have four <coughs> for each department. Accounting, we have Dr. Um, Shahida, now Shahida. Business department, we have Dr. Zairina. Uh, economics, we have Dr. Husna. And uh, finance, we have uh, Dr. Fadila. Okay, so um, communicate with them. Uh, send them email. Okay, if they can share with you their phone number, WhatsApp, uh, that would be uh, great. Otherwise, you can just uh, you know, consult them uh, through email, ask them for advice of the causes and your study plan. First academic calendar finalized? It is finalized, but of course everything is subject to changes because even um, I mean, right now we don't know whether the everyone have to, uh, you know, realize that information is uh, very liquid. So, uh, whatever decision that we make will only be valid based on the information that we have at the moment. When we have new information, uh, then uh, those things are subject to change. So this is something I know is very uncomfortable to live in such a very uncertain uh, condition where in life previously uh, we, we used to be very comfortable. Everything has been fixed. Everything is so certain. Uh, economic system, banking system, or your, your appointment time and stuff. But try to think uh, the opposite way. Now, isn't it life will be pretty much more interesting that we have uh, a lot of uncertainties, you know, for you to make brave decision using whatever limited information that you have. Okay. So when you make decision, travel plan and stuff, so bear in mind things are very uh, liquid. Uh, information is very dynamic. Okay. Is there any possibility that certain topic chapter be excluded from the syllabus? No possibility. If you ask me, no. Because we don't want to compromise on the quality. Because we always think of your interest. We don't want you to be discriminated. Okay? We don't want you to be discriminated from, uh, from students from other universities as well as we don't want you to be discriminated among your juniors and your seniors. Okay? We don't want... Yeah. That certain chapters will be excluded from the syllabus. Uh. 
there is no possibility whatever that uh, is there in the course outline all lecturers are responsible uh, it is our responsibility to to deliver them to you okay to make sure that you know we we have to deliver them to you no discount in terms of quality because like i said we don't want you to be discriminated later on we don't want employers outside there to to notice ah oh, this student they are the one affected by the mco covid-19 so their grades are actually much lower so we don't want that your 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 qualification uh, your your knowledge would be the same as others okay we don't want to compromise on that it just that we are becoming creative in terms of uh, delivering it and also assessing uh, your your knowledge okay Will the grading be pass or fail? From where did you get all this information? Okay, um, the, there was one time the university uh, is discussing on this. We have uh, different of uh, kind of views. Uh, um, some say that because now we can no longer assess you like in the traditional way, so it should be reduced to pass and fail. Um, but uh, at the at, so far at our kulia, the kulia of economics and management sciences, we prefer to stick to the uh, pointer base based on the reason I stated before. We, we don't want people to distinguish you, to discriminate you. If, if we were to, to simply give you pass or fail, then people can easily identify, ah, these are the students who were affected because of the pandemic. And this uh, also show that, you know, the, the quality of the knowledge that they received has been compromised. We really don't want that. We don't want to compromise on the quality of education that you, our students, uh, you know, receive from us. They should be, receive the same uh, treatment, you know, as, as others. Okay. I hope you also would like this way, um, uh, you know, having the pointer to, to, to motivate you to, to really, uh, you know, do well. To get barred if missing from online class, oh my. I mean, in the guideline, it is clearly stated uh, there will be no barring, no warning. Okay. However, lecturers uh, it is up to the lecturer to take attendance it is totally up to the lecturer's discretion because i know uh, some lecturers are thinking of they may be thinking of uh, giving uh, i don't know marks for class participation because now that group or in the zoom or google hangout for you to ask a question in the class Maybe it indicate you have to do certain kind of uh, preliminary study before you come up with the question. So some lecturers would like to give marks, participation, you know, on, on that, can, uh, can mark for, for that. So that, this uh, all, uh, you know, we leave it to the discretion of the uh, individual lecturer. No barring, okay? No barring, no warning. You have to be responsible, okay? Ah, oh, the same question again. When can you collect your belonging at Mahala? I think there's a procedure at the under state office. So please uh, check uh, state website uh, or contact your, your fellow or your principal. I mean, I mean, you should, if you live in Mahala, you should know your fellow and principal, right? I mean, the, there is a procedure, there is a form uh, you fill up and then the university will, uh, uh, the uh, state office will find a suitable time for you to come. Uh, they will give a uh, later authorization and something like that to, to, to uh, accommodate uh, the, uh, your need to come and collect your belongings. Okay. How certain? Nothing is certain. You are asking <laughs> something during this uh, uncertain, uncertain time. Um, previously, Previously, uh, previously can means like last week or, or you know a few days ago, we were we were predict our forecast. We predict that uh, online classes would prolong until December. Okay. However, uh, recently when the I mean the what uh, COVID uh, result seems to be uh, okay, uh, we 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 kind of uh, predict that student may be allowed to come back uh, on campus earlier. Uh, earlier, maybe in, in August, perhaps, okay, before the semester one commence. 
But now that we have seen the rise in uh, the cases in, in some areas, so now we are moving back. Uh, perhaps uh, maybe we'll have to go until December. But whatever it is, like I said, we are the university, the kulia. We are we are trying our best uh, to minimize the disruption and to 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 make sure you have the opportunity to to continue your study here. You have to be responsible as well. Can a student studying in IUM for next semester? Saying in IUM for next semester, you maybe asking: Is it possible for you to stay on campus to continue? Semester one. Um, semester one, we are not sure yet. At the moment, we are we are we are using the the procedure that we have is uh, we are recommending students with uh, you know issues for online learning to be allowed to return. I believe uh, the same procedure will be applied in semester one. If we believe that you know if you stay outside you would be at a disadvantage uh, compared to your colleagues uh, then uh, we may recommend you to return to campus but again this is subject to um, uh, MKN uh, I mean certain things are just I'm sorry to say but there are things that are outside our control okay is there possibility that grade scheme will be adjusted no way okay uh, uh, as far as we are concerned we we don't want to uh, adjust the grading scheme. We're going to adjust the method, how we're going to assess you. But the grading scheme will remain the same. Your A would be equivalent to the A obtained by your seniors and your juniors. We don't want to discriminate you. Okay? We should treat you the same as others. Uh, Most of the lecturers that I think, uh, you know, based on the uh, uh, what the, the class uh, WhatsApp group, uh, I think many of uh, you have already voiced out to your lecturers and they, 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 they are listening to your request. Uh, I think uh, most of the online classes would be uh, pre-recorded. Okay, uh, very few would basically conduct a live session like this using either Zoom or uh, uh, Google Meet. Okay, wow, this is a very difficult question. Even us at the university, we have differing views on this. Okay, uh, when uh, CMCO is lifted, absolutely, can we go back to the kulia? Okay. Uh, Many of you will have to undergo uh, mass uh, screening, testing, and stuff, uh, self quarantine. The second thing that you need to know is that if the government have already lifted, then basically it's your right to to, to move anywhere that you want. So the, I mean, how can we deny you from 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 going uh, anywhere that you want? Okay, as long as you 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 uh, obey. You observe all the SOPs, uh, all the regulations. Now, this is still being, I think, uh, discussed at the uh, university level, uh, whether uh, students are allowed. At the moment, it seems that it seems that even if CMCO is lifted absolutely, students are not allowed to come back to campus except uh, except those who basically really need uh, need not want, uh, really need to be allowed to return to campus as not to disrupt their, their study, okay? Is it possible to drop a subject if the credit hour will be under the minimum credit hour? Pilawa. I, I think this is a policy that I, uh, we at the, at, at the Kulia have uh, implemented uh, since uh, two semesters ago, okay? Uh, we started with, uh, I think, uh, was it 12? Last semester, we, we 
we even go beyond nine, okay? Because um, uh, so there there is no issue to drop a subject if the credit hour is below minimum, okay? But uh, you have to think wisely before you do that because uh, I mean, why you wanna waste your I don't know your resources, your time, or your money? The library, uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I did not check uh, with the... Unfortunately, today in our kuliah meeting, uh, the librarian uh, was absent. So, uh, we... we, we, we uh, I, I don't know whether the library is open as usual or, or not. MashaAllah, I'm very proud to see students uh, you know, want to go to a library. Okay. I think this... This one I have answered earlier. Online class time will be the same as your initial class time. Uh, yes, uh, uh, for those lecturers who uh, want official uh, class timetable, as well as we have advised lecturers to make themselves available uh, through WhatsApp or whatsoever during the official uh, class uh, schedule. So Amin is telling me we're going to end at 3.50. We cannot hear you, Nadia. To drop subject, you should be able to do it online. Okay. If if the, if you have issue, uh, uh, please let us know. Okay. The class timing, this is a very favorite question. Uh, maybe MSS want to come up with the uh, uh, what uh, FAQs. The prereq page doesn't work. Okay, thank you for that information. Uh, we'll, we'll check that out. Do we still have to follow the 15 credit hours limit? Mm -hmm. We at Kulia of Economics, we, we, we don't implement that. I mean, it's up to the students' uh, uh, freedom. You have to be responsible. If you take less, uh, then that means you're willing to take the risk of um, graduating later. Maybe you love UAE so much, right? I mean, it's hard to say goodbye. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Fatima, my, my class, right? Okay. <laughs> no problem. Say hi to me. I mean, uh, promoting myself, my Instagram or whatsoever. What else? I mean, that's uh, the, the new norms, huh? how we communicate. <laughs> Okay, so bye-bye.